Hey Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I give you a nice tour of the Dallas Arboretum. So let's go. I was very fortunate to be able to visit the Dallas Botanical Gardens during mid-May. I looked at different areas for inspiration and I thought maybe this video would inspire you as well. Where I live, I have a lot of shade. And so I was specifically looking at plants that do well in shady areas. However, of course, I couldn't help but look at plants that thrive in the sun as well. The impatiens were absolutely beautiful. And I grew a lot of impatiens from seed this year, and I can't wait to get those out in my landscape. I absolutely love canna lilies, and my goal for next year is to plant a lot of canna lilies. I'd like to have them in pots, and I'd also like to have the shorter variety around my pond. I think they would look so pretty there. One thing that I noticed a lot of was when you plant any plant in mass, it makes such a huge effect in a garden bed. And I really took note of that. And I also took note of the different color combinations that were used in the different spaces. This year, I grew a lot of wax begonia from seed and it was seed that I collected from plants last year. I really was inspired by the wax begonias that were planted in mass. Not only was I trying to really appreciate anything that was currently blooming, but I was also trying to look at anything with a grassy texture or anything that was more of an evergreen because it's just so nice to see how things are basically blending together within a flower bed. During the winter months, it's so much fun to put together container pots for outdoors. And we don't have the beautiful magnolia leaves like the warmer climates do. So I was in awe of all the magnolia trees that I saw. One thing that I really appreciated was how well the beds were layered. You had things towards the front of the bed that were shorter and then as you move towards the back of the bed they got taller. And again things were planted in mass and just made such a bold statement. I lost count of how many container pots there were at the botanical garden but Stay tuned for the end of the video where I show you a whole bunch of container pots that I saw during my visit there. There were definitely a handful of plants that I had never seen or heard of before. And what was really nice was every single flower bed had plant labels. So if you, there was something that you were interested in, you could take a picture or make note of a certain plant in case you wanted to look it up and research it a bit. I absolutely adore oak leaf hydrangeas. I've always wanted them in my yard. I think they would look really, really nice all around the yard. I have a few that are in my backyard plant nursery that I bought a few years ago from another backyard plant nursery. Now I'm inspired to plant those in my landscape.
I think there's something to be said about having a moving water feature within a garden space. And you don't need a terribly big garden space and you don't need a terribly big water feature. But I just think there's something very peaceful, very serene about having that. Even if it's the smallest little fountain that you can find. It could be a solar fountain, in fact. But I think every garden deserves some sort of a water feature. In my front yard, I have a small man-made pond that was put in a number of years ago. And I'm inspired to do even more in terms of landscaping around that pond to make it even look more beautiful than it already is. I was very lucky to visit the botanical gardens on such a beautiful, warm, sunny day, and I really loved looking at the wildlife that was enjoying the gardens as well. I think many of us struggle with how to make our shaded or woodland gardens look beautiful. I suggest going to a botanical garden if there's one nearby to you and looking at how they landscape their woodland areas. It will really inspire you. This area here that was out in the full sun was absolutely jam-packed with the most beautiful flowers. It was just so gorgeous and everyone was taking pictures that day in this one particular area. And you can see why. These flowers are loving life. It was just so glorious. I would love to know if there was something in this video that inspired you, something that's motivated you to try something different in your garden. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I've shared a lot of things that have motivated me, but what has motivated you? If I were to visit this botanical garden again, I would want to spend more time looking for roses. I only saw this one section from afar and I'd love to spend more time in it. Notice in this monochromatic bed, there are lots of different shades of red and how beautifully they all blend together. I love that idea of having one color but different shades of that color. The last few minutes of this video, please enjoy all the different types of container pots that I saw during my visit. There were so many different ones. I'm sure I didn't get all of them. 
but they all inspired me in one way or the other. And I just thought it would be helpful to share these images with you. Maybe there's a container that you really like and you can give it a try in your own landscape. You'll notice a common theme that many of these containers have a thriller, which is something tall, very bold, and that's usually in the center of the pot. And then you have something called a spiller, something that spills over the pot and goes down towards the ground. And then you have the filler, something that fills in the center section. It was interesting to see which kind of pots were used, the color of the pots, the height of the pots, and then based on the pots, the type of plants that were chosen for each of those pots. There were many pots that were in the sun, but then there were even some pots that were in the shade. It was really something I enjoyed looking at during this visit. I have always loved Ticondra Silver Falls as a spiller in pots, but boy did I love it even more during this trip. Thank you for joining me from a mini tour at the Dallas Botanical Gardens. Make it a great day with gardening.